Hey everyone, so a few of you wanted me to show you some of the gear I'm using, and I've never done a gear video, so I thought I'd do that. I'll give you a tour of the room here. It's a room, it's not a studio. But first, I guess guitars. Okay, this is my PRS Santana SE. It's the second guitar I ever got. I think I got it because of Sum 41. Dave, playing the same thing. Everything's stock on it. I haven't used it in a video yet, but I think I will do. But I think I'm gonna change out the pickups for some EMGs. So yeah. This is my Ibanez RG2610E. I have a few Ibanezes, a few RGs. But this is definitely the most metal of them all. It's only got one pickup, no tone knob, nothing. It's tuned to drop C right now. Not much to say, really. It's kind of... metal. <laughs> Next. You haven't seen this guitar, but this has kind of been with me everywhere I've been for the past 10 years. It's an Ibanez RG550, kind of old school. Everything's stock on it, nice maple neck. The neck is really thin, and it's kind of been my go-to shredding practice guitar. As you can see, I remove the volume knob on most of these Ibanez RGs because when you're picking that fast, I just find it gets in the way, so I just clean take it off. I don't know whether I'll put it in a video, but I might. Um, yeah, rock. So next, this is my PRS single cut. I love this guitar. It's my favourite. Solid mahogany, neck and body. It's really heavy because of that. The birding lays too on the fretboard. Pickups are stock in this one. And uh, that's the way I like it. I'm probably never going to change anything on this guitar. Like I said, it's my baby. This is my LTD DVAR. It used to be the signature model of Dave Mustaine. I'm not a huge Mustaine fan, but this guitar rocks. String through body. I have no idea what the wood is. It's built like a tank as well. I've hit and scraped this thing up and it's got no marks on it whatsoever. The pickups are Seymour Duncan. There's a JB in the bridge and a Jazz in the neck. They sound great. I demoed these in a video. There's something about this guitar. If you play like fast metal, it really excels. The action's pretty high right now because in that Walking Dead video, I wanted to do a slight guitar kind of thing. And this was the easiest guitar to do it on, believe it or not. So yeah, it's got really high action. I grabbed a beer bottle and just slid it up and down the fretboard to give it a slight tone. So now we have the seven strings. This is an Ibanez J Custom. I think it's an eight, RG8327 is its full name. I think they only make J Customs in Japan, hence the name. And it's kind of the best Ibanez can do. It's got a finish on it, which is made to look like leather. It's got EMG pickups, 707s in the bridge and neck. It's an extended scale, 27 inches I think, or thereabouts. So the bends are a little bit harder, but it stays in tune more on the low strings. I used this a lot when I used to play in a band, and it was always sounding good to be honest. A lot of people hate on EMG pickups, but I quite like the active sound. This rocks. Another one, another seven string. It's the Monkey Signature model from like 2009. It's the Apex One, but it says Apex Custom on the headstock. I don't know why. Obviously, the thing you notice most about this guitar is the inlay. It's 25.5 inches, so it's shorter than the other seven string, and it's got passive pickups. It's got Dimarzio Path 7s in it. They sound really cool, actually. If you get them on the right tone, they can sound kind of single coily. This is my Agile Intrepid 8 string, and it's a beast. You can see that it barely fits in shot, actually. That's because it's 30 inches long, the scale length. Because of the scale length, any lead work is pretty hard to do unless you're tapping. But it sounds amazing. It's a bare knuckle painkiller in the bridge, and the neck is stock. But the neck sounds good too. The bridge actually has a coil tap on it, so if you're on clean tone, it gives it some nice uh, single coil kind of tones. I think the body is ash. It's bolt on construction. You can get these neck through, but this is bolt on. Because it's so big, I didn't really like it when I first got it, but I have got used to it and I love it now. I wouldn't trade it for anything. Finally, this is my Squire Vintage Modified Jazz Bass. I got this really recently and I basically needed a five string bass for recording reasons. I didn't have a lot of money, but I saw this and got it and I love it. It's cheap as chips, everything's stock, I haven't even taken plastic off the pickups, but it sounds great. Something about this guitar makes me want to play it all the time when I pick it up. I can't put it down, um, so I better put it down before I, before I start. So now, I guess I'll show you the rest. This is my Line 6 Spider 2. It's kind of my only big amp. It has the matching cab down there. It's a modeling amp, so it hasn't got any valvey sounds really. It's um, got some cool presets over here, some nice flashy lights as well. And yeah, nice and loud. So next we have a Rainy Q. 
and it's rack mountable. I bought this off Martin Gouldy. If you don't know who Martin is, check him out on YouTube, he's pretty cool. This thing's older than me, it's built like a tank. It doesn't get a lot of use recently because it's not wired into the Line 6 here. The Line 6 doesn't have an effects loop and I don't want to run this in front of it. This is my Line 6 Pod XT. Up until December last year, this was on all of my recordings in some way, but it's broken now, which is why it's over here. But I keep it around because, um, because I like it. So this is a Roland Microcube, and when I was a teenager, this is the little lamp I used to take to school with me, because it runs on batteries and it's nice and light. Over here, I've got two acoustics. One's a Freshman FA100, and the other one's a Pearl River, which I've never heard of, but I like it anyway. The Freshman's got a funny fretboard, because it's got two colours on it. In the shop, they actually gave me a discount, because they thought it was damaged, but it's not. It's just the way the wood is. I quite like it, because it makes the guitar unique. I haven't seen many like that. And of course, Dodge Viper. We've got posters on the wall. Over here I've got some CDs and some software, which I'll show you in a minute. This is my light down here. I'm going to green screen set. Move that over here. And that's where I keep the guitars. That's also where I film these videos. So moving on from the guitars, I have the computer. Windows 64-bit, i7, 16 gig of RAM, three hard drives, all the terabyte each. I used to do all my recording with a laptop, but it got to the point where I had to keep an ice pack underneath it just to keep it cool. And on top of it, I have my sound card, my interface, which is an Ederol UA25. Nothing fancy, it's just a cheap USB sound card and it's quite nice. Software. My DAW is Cubase 6. I have a love-hate relationship with Cubase. There's a lot of things which I don't like about it, but I've been using it forever, so I'm just used to it. A lot of people ask me how I program my drums, and I do it with these. Superior Drummer 2.0 and the Metal Foundry Expansion Pack SDX. Toontrack make the best drum libraries in my opinion, so uh, Play it, they're awesome. For actual guitar and bass tone, since my Pod XT has been broken, I've been using my phone and Positive Ridge Jam Up Pro in combination with the Jam Up Plug they do. It's awesome, I get some great tones out of my phone. If you haven't tried it, do it. It's free. For strings, I'm running Deodario stuff, uh, just regular sets. This is a hybrid set and this is a regular 8 string set, apart from I replaced the low 65 with a 74. Finally, picks. I use Jazz Freeze. I don't really have a preference between the black and the red ones, but I tend to use the red ones because you can find them easier when you drop them on the carpet. So that's it. That's basically all the stuff I use. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll get back to you. Or you can tweet me. I'm at Pete Plays Music on Twitter. If you like this and you can tolerate my annoying accent, I might do some more of these talky videos. Bye. Almost forgot. What are you? Ah, oh, I suck ukulele.